Okay, so once again, we're in an L7 control here. There's so many options to attack your opponent whenever you have this control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this control as an opportunity to create an angle. I'm gonna start hipping out towards my, my opponent's right side, to, towards Jill's right side, which is my left. So I pinch and then I adjust and then I close my guard back up again. It's important that whenever you're adjusting that you're keeping your legs pinched. You're not, you're not loose about this. You want to keep control with your arms, but you also want to be controlling with your legs as well. So I don't really have a great angle yet, so I got to repeat the process again. So I'm going to adjust and then lock again. So what ends up happening is slowly but surely you start to turn your body around as if you're trying to take their back but you're not going to because their arm is on the outside. So from here, I'm gonna to try to adjust again. So here, keep the process going. Now, once I'm here, notice that I, I've kept Jill close to me the whole time. From the L7, one of the submissions I can go for is a loop choke. Now, if you don't feel like your hand is, is close enough, move your head lower. When your head goes lower, your arm gets longer to the point where you can reach a lapel better. Now I point my elbow down, and then I'm pushing my hips forward. And this is what creates the choke. So your hips are going forward as you're pushing your elbow down. That causes the submission. The techniques go much deeper than this. To find out more information and to dig deeper into the truth, please stay tuned to the Jiu Jitsu Revolution.